Okay, all right now. Historic immigration reform included in House passed spending bill. So basically what's going on is that the House has passed that last version uh, of the BBB, Build Back Better Act, um, including immigration provision. So we know if the last immigration provision was going on is that they will provide for whole five years um renewable at least once pretty much um shielding uh, a lot of people from deportation for 10 years work permit is included travel document also is included and then there will be recapturing unused visa from the family-based petitions or immigration petitions since 1992 if this bill passes the senate then it will become law and we know that today uh vice president kamala has taken uh presidential power for the first time in history a woman has taken presidential power and we hope that this congress will pass this bill before thanksgiving and giving us a actually gift for thanksgiving and then kamala harris the now president of the united states in interim of course will sign it into law okay we don't know when biden will come back to power but uh they say that the procedure will be short and he will resume shortly we never know with uh medicine and science uh we hope and wish him the best okay but let's get into it so as you can say with this article from the hill the social spending bill approved by the house friday today uh april 9 uh, sorry <laughs> uh november 19 i was about to say april 19 because i was born in april <laughs> on april 19 so the date is just like so uh historic to me too right so friday today 20 uh 220 by 213 so short only by three votes to have to have it like tie really almost not passing it but they did at least and we hope that in the senate they will get support and if they do not get support really it's time for the democrat to just go with the presiding officer and then just overrule that parliamentarian uh that senate parliamentarian if she doesn't agree with this language okay so we really hope they'll do the right thing and to be honest i think they will do the right thing because this is really uh, it's a parole really it's not like they're giving out green card to people right so and not to mention it's going to raise revenue okay and it says that include the most extensive immigration reform package reviewed by congress in 35 years okay but it's a much reduced version from what uh, they had originally remember we had plan a uh, pathway to citizenship eight years pathway to citizenship for 11 millions that one fell then they came with plan b a uh, way to change the registry uh, registry date that one fell as well now they have a uh, plan c it's called a uh, parole so what is it uh if the provision pass as is with no modification at all the immigration measure in the bill will allow undocumented people present in the u.s since before 2011 up to 10 years of work authorization while falling short from the initial goal of u.s citizenship okay but and then always i said the waiver to immigration laws which is uh basically per whole to allow them to stay in the united states but remember that travel document is included and that will allow some people to really go home and reunite with their families um according to the cbo congressional budget office about 6.5 million people will stand to benefit from measure directly okay and then according to the analysis about three people from those people can go from parole to legal permanent residency and the first step towards citizenship falling short for 11 million but better than nothing really to be honest um and then they were focusing on passing this bill and uh well the senate they urges the senate to protect the work permits and protection and we're hopeful 
hopefully they will use the senate to rule to build upon them and create and earn a pathway to citizenship for further improve uh, the economy economy of this country while it's falling short from the initial goal of 11 million undocumented but it says that at least uh, uh, work authorization will help some individuals okay so that's what's going on today it, it is a good day uh november 19 for certain people of course uh not good for others but it is good at least for six million of people and we wish that this one will pass really um and if it doesn't go to the senate really the democrat they just have to wear their pants big pants and really do the right thing just overhaul that senate parliamentarian and just get the job done once and for all and they have a lot on the line too if they don't get this job done really next year we know where we go with our vote so that's about it today right when is it going to go to the senate my friend they told us no later than thanksgiving so we're hoping next week they'll push to senate and the senate will give us a vote and before thanksgiving we hope that well if kamala harris has still still has presidential powers then she will sign it and it will become law that's the hope okay please go ahead and comment below don't forget to share this video this is great news on this friday okay well until next time and we have a, a, a lot of uh, immigration news i will come back uh probably uh sunday um today is friday right i'll come back sunday uh, maybe we we'll go to a live session maybe we'll we we'll pull the text itself and dissect it and talk about some other immigration uh news but until next time uh bye bye